The Intro for Users video showed you how to hide and reveal Confluence controls. This video covers page editing and layout. To edit a Confluence page with ThemePress applied, reveal the controls and click Edit, or press E, the shortcut key. This opens the page in the Confluence Rich Text Editor. Notice that we're editing only the content in the main block. With ThemePress, you edit blocks individually. In a page with many blocks, the Edit button will default to the main block. To edit a different block, click the Design button and click the pencil icon on the desired block. You can also tab sequentially through blocks using keyboard shortcuts F or A to select the block, then click E to edit. For sophisticated page layout and styling, open the ThemePress Designer. Select the ThemePress Designer from the gear menu or press period, the shortcut key. The ThemePress Designer combines the Zen Foundation section and brand designers plus control over site architect features. The architect and theme tabs give you control over navigation structure and the theme and are covered in other videos. We'll look at the page tab. In the page tab, you can override the default page layout and hide page elements like comments or labels. You can also add columns, blocks, and layers. These are the building blocks of page layout. As an example, let's add a row of two callout blocks to this page. Start by selecting the three block layer. A layer is a horizontal section on the page with its own formatting. Notice that ThemePress adds a focus blanket so you always know what you're working on. Add a two column layer after it. By default, columns are equal width, but you can change this in the designer. The new blocks are ready for content and styling. You can remove blocks, columns, and layers using the delete icon. 